So I press the like button now. Uh, we will quickly check the audio in the live uh, video post, and then we'll start our class which is class for Nepal version nine, class nineteen. Okay. So we'll quickly check the audio now. Uh, we are already live. We are live now. Uh, I've checked the audio. It works for me. Uh, so it should be fine now. So we will go live now. Uh, so basically, uh, we would like to uh, call our uh, viewers as well. Uh, uh, whoever is with us. So I'm just tagging them so then they can have uh, you know have this information that we are already in. So yeah, um, we should be fine now. Okay, so right, uh, we are live now, the audio is working, so we'll quickly start today's uh, class. Uh, the, ten, the first 10 minutes will be a quick theory and then we will play uh, a crossword game, uh, which is uh, about adjectives. Um, right, so let's go live. So, Zozal Park, uh, this is Pasapuza Guti UK, London's uh, Nepal Bhasa class 19. So, in the, in the 19th uh, class, uh, our topic for today is adjectives. Uh, which is called Bisheshan in, in, in uh, Sanskrit and in uh, Nepalese languages. So um, we'll be learning about adjectives. Adjectives is about defining the noun. So how we can define any noun, any object, any person uh, is going to be today's topic uh, and what the Nepal Bhasha words are. So basically the structure will be in the first 10, uh, 9 to 10 minutes, we'll quickly go through the fundamental, the, the, you know, the very basic uh, adjectives in Nepal Bhasha that uh, some of us might already know. Uh, it could be a quick quick brush up and then uh, we will today play a new game a brand new game in Nepal Russia which is going to be a Scrabble game or a, a kind of a crossword uh, where we will learn uh, new adjectives in Nepal Russia so let's quickly go through the basic um, Nepal Russia adjectives uh, for the first uh, eight nine minutes right so uh, uh, you know um, right uh, okay give me a sec so we will be dealing with these uh, adjectives today, which I have here. Mm. Okay, here we are. Right. Okay. So uh, firstly, before we learn about uh, different um, you know, qualities of a noun or different uh, adjectives, First of all, if we, before we talk about even colors, the word color itself, we haven't defined it earlier, we haven't discussed about this earlier. The color itself, the color or rung in Nepal Bhasha is called un. Un is for color. That is why it will now help us understand why the different colors have different names. So un is generally the end of every color's name. That is why, you see. So color in Nepal Bhasha is un. Which is why now, if we go further, like if I say red, it will be hyao, hyao, un, hyao, right? Hyao color is the red color. So if we add prefix hya to un, it is red. Hya, un, right? Similarly, uh, if I add a prefix wa, it becomes wa, un, or wa, un, which is the color green. Green, uh, we've also learned this in the last class when we were talking about um, birds, you know, black, uh, black parrot and green parrot, and it was wao bhatu, right? Wao is green. Wa un for green. Then, similarly, if I add a prefix wa, then it becomes wa chu. Wa chu, which is for blue, right? If you have to say blue sky, right? Sky is sargat in um, Nepal Bhasha. Wonsu is blue. Then other basic one would be yellow. The color yellow in Nepal Bhasa will be Masu, which you mostly see in uh, Pasa Pasa uh, logo and all our teachers and all our branding. Yellow is Masu, right? Similarly, if I have to say brown, it will be Siu, right? Siu is brown. And then Buyu will be gray. Buyu. Gray for, uh, buyu for gray. Then most of us probably know this, haku, 
is quite popular. Haku is for black. Black in Nepal says Haku, right? Uh, then Tuyu is for white, right? White in Nepal says Tuyu. You must have heard of this word. There's a, a popular uh, Nepal was a, 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 a you know a movie which was also kind of uh, uh, premiered by Pasapasa to UK uh, in London uh, a couple of years back. Tuyu Mati, which is like Tuyu, right? White or clean, right? So Tuyu is white. Uh, which is also the name of our advisors, our advisor David Gellner's uh, pet dog. He's, he's, he's called Tuyu. Right. Uh, purple, in most of the languages in Asia, uh, mainly uh, you know, in, in first Russian Nepali as well as um, uh, Nepal Bhasha, is Baizani. Baizani is purple, the mix of blue and red, right? Then let's now talk about taste, different kind of tastes. We're done with colors. Now, if we talk about sweet, the sweet taste is Tsaku. Right, that's why the chaku itself, chaku that you use in uh, yomari itself, you know, uh, molasses, which is chaku, is, 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 is chaku, right? Chaku is sweet. The prefix cha deals with sweet. Now, salty would be nuni. Chi is salt, right? The word in Nepal Bhasa for salt is chi. We learn this when we are learning about food. But now, if anything is salty, we call it nuni. Like something like nun, right, in Pashpasa Nepali. So nun is salty. Uh, similarly, sour would be pao. It's quite popular, right, uh, among youngsters who, who, who like pao. So sour is actually, in Nepal Bhasha, the word for sour is pao, right? Then you have bitter taste. Bitter in Nepal Bhasha is kayu. Like pao for sour, bitter is kayu. Okay, then spicy or hot in Nepal Bhasha is palu. Like we've learned this when we were learning about food, like ginger. So, and I informed earlier, like when there were no chili in the uh, Kathmandu Valley, uh, ginger was the only source of making anything hot, their food cuisine. So, palu is, you know, is the word for the taste which is spicy or hot. Is palu, right? Palu. Palu is strong, like it, it, it tastes. Uh, spicy and hot. Now let's talk about other physical features, other features, other qualities of any object or person which actually uh, can uh, qualify as adjectives, you know, which will define the noun. Uh, for example, we have covered this somewhere earlier as well, If uh, you know, ta and chi, ta for bigger like toba, toma and chidima, uh, you know, and chidiba, they, they, the prefix ta and chi refer to, uh, you know, big and small, up and down and all that, right? So now long is to hako, hako is how long it is, right, the length. So to hako is long, chi hako is now short. Then think of big. We've learned this earlier. We've we've had like how to how to define uh, any object uh, as big depending on what object it is. If it is round shape, spherical, you know. If it is just a width or area or length, it, it differs, right? So uh, like if it is uh, if you're talking about uh, taller, uh, you know, human being, you know, thirty. So. To is the prefix which denotes the bigger, the higher uh, value, uh, you know, the quality, the, the, the measure, right? So, togo, todi, tari, tapa, tajja, these are all like, uh, you know, adjectives used to refer big, depending on what object it is. And we've covered this earlier in, uh, I think, the third or fourth class itself. Now, small, the same thing with prefix chi, chigo, chidi, chiri, chipa. Chija, uh, chi, uh, chija and all that, right? Okay. And if you have to now deal with sound, if it is like, if you if, if loud is what you want to say about sounds, quality, then it will be tasa. Sa is sound. So tasa is loud sound, right? Similarly, chisa is quieter or softer sound, right? Lower volume. Then heavy will be jatu. This is now different, right? Jatu is heavy. Jatu se chong is like, it feels very heavy. It, it, it weighs heavy. Like it, when I try and carry it, it is heavy to me, right? So that object is jatu. Jatu. Heavy. Similarly, uh, the light we weight, light uh, with reference to weight, weight will be yaunse. The opposite of jatu will be yaunse. Yeah? Then think of strong. Someone who is strong will be balla, right? Hede balla is like competition, right? Contest. You like using, you, you, you're testing your strength opposite with your opponents. So balla is strong, dhede balla is contest, is a competition of, of you know, how, who, who's, who's better, 
right? Then tasty. Uh, if you have to say something that's tasty, it'll be like sa, sa, masa, right? If you say like yomari sa, then yomari is tasty, right? And masa is, is not tasty, right? Right? Sawa, sawa is the, is the taste. If you have to say taste, it is sawa. If you have to say it is tasty, it is sa. If you have to say it doesn't taste good, it is masa, right? Mo is more prefix, it denotes the, the negative sense, right? Then, if you have to say just in general, uh, good, which is bala, right? Uh, something is ba uh, good, someone is good, the adjective will be bala. General, in general case, bala is, can be used as a general uh, sense of, uh, you know, good, uh, good, you know, bala. Someone's art, someone's drawing, someone's writing, you know, someone's face, it's always bala, right? Again, if it is about fat, it's like long. Someone is very fat, so it's like, you know, that's uh, called long. They're very fat. Right? Long is uh, the adjective for, uh, you know, to refer fat. Then, if you have to say someone is thin, right, then it'll be gaussy. Long, opposite will be gaussy. Fat and thin, right? Now, uh, if, it, if something is hard, you'll say ta. Something is cha, right? Something is hard. When you touch it, when you feel it, if it's very hard, you say cha. Cha is strong, right? If it is soft, then you'll say nayu. The word in the Balvash for soft is nayu. And the way you use it in the sentences, similar to cha is strong, you'll say nice strong, nice strong, it's soft, right? Like a cotton or whatever, you know? Nice strong, right? It is soft. So cha for hard, nayu for soft. Then, if you have to say clean, if something is clean, it will be yachu, right? The word, the two words yachu pichu comes together often. Yachu is to clean. Yachuke is to clean. If you're doing, if, if you know, if the verb form is yachuke, right? Uh, yachu is to, like, is, if you, have, the word yachu in, in the basic form means clean. If you have to say, you know, it's clean. Yachu is strong, yachu, right? Now, pichu, what is pichu for? It, if it is, if something is smooth, then, you know, like, the surface is like very smooth and shiny, then that'll be pichu. Yachu pichu, you know, clean and shiny, clean and smooth. Then cold. Cold is pound. Pound set off. Like if, if it's cold, yeah, when you when you try and taste it or something, you know. Pound. Or when you just feel it, when you touch something. If it is cold, then it's pound. Right? Similarly, if you have to say hot in terms of temperature, then it'll be kwa. Right? If you remember this, there's uh, Pangkwa in Bhuez, in the feast, Newas have Pangkwa, right? And uh, Kwa is generally like, you know, if the food is hot in temperature, uh, high in temperature, if it's hot, then you say Kwa, right? Kwa, it's hot in temperature. Kwa ke is like, to make it hot, right? Then, if you have to say wise, the adjective will be Gyani, right? It's a Sanskrit word, anyway. Gyani, being, is like good as well as a person, right? Wise is gyan, with, with some gyan, with some knowledge. Then at the end, if you have to say someone is stupid, and you probably tell, tell that to me if I just keep on doing this uh, endlessly, so stupid will be guadja, right? Guadja is the Nepal word for stupid. So we went through uh, some basic fundamental, you know, words in Nepal Bhasha that are helpful in uh, learning uh, adjectives, right? So now, We'll quickly connect to our friends who are with us here, and then we will start playing our uh, crossword. Scrabble is, is basically a mix of these, so it's a crossword game, let's say, and we will learn more adjectives in a, in an interactive way. So we will uh, give you an give you a crossword, and then you will have to you know guess the words. We'll also give you the option words, which you'll we'll, we'll have to pick from, and then if it fits and gives the right answer, if it works, then it works, right? We'll also give you the clues. Right, nice. So um, here we go. With the f we'll have three co crosswords today. We'll keep it simple. The first one. Right. So we are now also connected with our friends here, Sandeep Shrestha, General Secretary of Passport Security UK London, currently in the executive team. He is here, visible with us on the screen now. And uh, Pranisha Shakya, the Cultural Secretary of Passport Security UK London executive team. So we all, uh, we three are now uh, here on on your screen. And um, uh, so uh, there, here is a crossword. So if you look at the screen now, 
you will see a very simple crossword. There are four words, as you can see. One, two, three, four. And we will go in that order. You can comment in the live in this live video, which is now being streaming uh, now now being streamed live in uh, Facebook. Possible to go to UK London's Facebook page. You can comment your guesses. Now, the clues are also there on the top right corner next to Sandeep. You can see the clues. Clues across. Across will be from left to right. Clues down from top to bottom, up to down. Yeah. So. Clues across are one for, for the words one, two, and three. Clues down are it is for the word four, number no, number four, right? So if you see now number one, it is a two letter, it, it has got two parts of this word. The first part is, the first letter is chi. Number one, two letter word. The first letter is chi. We'll have to now guess. The second letter out of the four given here on, on, on the right hand side of the screen you will see the options are cha, no, ma and fa right the options are cha, no, ma and fa your first part of the letter your first letter is chi you'll have to guess the second letter now what is the clue for this word if you see the list for across on the top right corner of the screen number one for the word number one the clue is too salty. So what do you what do you say in Nepal Bhasha if it is too too salty? The first letter is chi. What will be the second letter out of the options? So that is the question, right? So let's now see uh, who of our viewers here have taken the trouble, like have, have uh, tried to answer here. Um, so, uh, number one, Om Harshaji, right? Sandeep, do you, do you want to take this further? I think you are mute, is it? Sandeep, you are mute? Yeah, yeah, yeah I am back. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of comments coming in now, already 20. Um, <laughs> nice. You take the comments, and I will just drag these uh, words in the right position and see if it if it works or not, right? Uh, so Hiraji has said, actually, yeah, Omar Shaji has said one, no. Okay. Any, no. any other, any other, uh, any other guesses there? Yeah, yeah. So we are going for one right now. So please answer for one. Uh, so one across Sushima has put in T no, mm -hmm. put no again, and uh, Iraji has said Chiku, uh, Jagat Sundar Bonakuti has said T no. So mostly they've put T no. If we do for one, shall we do uh, one then? Yeah. Okay. Um of them have put in no n w right let's let's so what what does our panel say sandeep yourself and pranishaji are we happy with no yeah it's a uh, no is it correct yeah okay let's try this now okay okay so if we are happy then i'm going to take this no out of the list of options and it actually fits there, isn't it? Does it work? So, chino, number one, too salty. If you have to say too salty in Nepal, it is chino. So, we all, we all agree to this, right? So, it is chino. Looks like it is. Okay. I can, I can already hear the winning music now on Facebook. Okay. Right. Let's go for the second word now. Okay. So, second across... What is your answer for second across? Um, the first part of the letter, uh, the first letter is cha. The first letter is cha. We, no, we now need the second letter. The clue for this word is sweetish. If it is sweetish, if it's not fully sweet, but if it's just sweetish, somewhat somewhat sweet, you know, what do you call it in Nepal Vasha? The first letter is cha. The second letter, you have options there. Second options could be fa or ma or cha. Okay, so uh, um, 
Any 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 answers yet? Yeah. Shall we go for any yeah. of the, any, any of these? Yeah. Fa. Fa. Yeah. So Sima has said fa. Okay. So that will make it cha uh, fa, right? Yeah. Yeah, just quick instruction. Hiraji, the Hiraji, the the word are the the piece is in front of you. You have to just match it. Yeah. So can I write my book? Uh, we have to pick it. Pick, pick from the options, right? Cha. Ma, yeah, options, pa. options are a no, right? Option order. So, I see fa as one answer. Okay. From yeah. Any other answers? No? So I try far then. No other answers. Is it? No, no other answers. Let's wait for a bit. Okay. Anyone else wants to give it a go? Oh, Marsaji is saying ja, uh, but you need to select the option on the right hand side of it. Yeah. Uh, one of the options is cha, I think. I think. Yeah. Cha, ma, and fa, right? Oh, I see, yeah. The last I see is from one more says, do you see anything else on that? Uh, I think, yeah, uh, Susima was Fa, right? Susima went for Fa, Omji yeah. went for Cha. Okay, shall we try Fa first then? Yeah, let's try Fa first. Okay, right. So I will now uh, quickly try for fa, and if I put fa here, is it gonna work for me? Is the question. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ah, no, it didn't work. The audio response is negative, and it's, it didn't work. Okay, so that doesn't work. I'm putting it back. So we have two more options now: ta and ma. I think Omji asked for cha, right? Shall we go for cha then? The second person to give an give an answer was cha, right? So we will go with cha. If I have cha here, uh, cha, sorry, it's cha, right? It's not cha. Double A would be cha. It's like cha. So cha cha. If it's too, is it is it Swedish? That's the question, right? Does it work? Of course it does. Of course it does. So we have a winning winning response in, in Facebook and it has worked for us so we will just keep it there and not move it around anymore right so we have now two more uh, words and two more options as well let's go with the third word then the third word is a cross so the third word would mean astringent astringent or taste of unripe fruits the fruits, when they are not ripe, right, they will taste something different, and that taste in Nepal Bhasha is called. It has a two-letter word. The second letter is ku, and we need to find the first letter. Simple. Okay. Any answers we've got so far? So, so it's either ma or fa. So that is what you are looking at. Yes. True. It's getting easier, isn't it? <laughs> More. What do you think? Any, 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 any guesses? Any answers? Uh, so yeah, there's, there's there's two different answers. One is from Susima. She's going with fa, or okay. 
Uh, yeah, PHAA, the second one, and then Jagat Sundar Monopathy is going with Ma, and he's saying Maku, it has to be Maku. Okay. Now, he actually also come back with Fa, mm -hmm. so she's saying Faku, and Omar Shaji is also saying Fa. Okay, yeah. so the majority is Fa anyway, right? So uh, it looks yeah. like it looks like as soon as we uh, do this answer, the last question will be answered itself because there will be only one option left, right? Yeah. Okay, so shall we go with Fa because the majority is Fa here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the majority okay. is Fa. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be quite democratic, we'll be democratic and then we will, we will go for the majority uh, option which is here now Fa, right? Okay, so let me do this now uh, and I will pick Fa, right? I'll pick Fa and this is going here in the third word. If I uh, just have it here, it becomes Fa Ku. Faku is, uh, is it astringent or the test of unripe fruits? Is it? Let's find out, right? Okay, it has worked. It has worked. Yeah, the audio response here is, is, is definitely the winning one, right? Nice. So, um, it has worked for us. And then the last question is answered itself. We don't need to do uh, much work for this. So astringent or the taste of the fruit which is not uh, ripe will be fa ku. And then um, the last word now we will learn here will be maku. Maku, right? Maku is the adjective, is, is the taste which refers to the fourth word. And as the clue says, it is savory. In English, it is savory. In Japanese, it is umami. And it is actually the taste of nuts, cashew or walnuts. This kind of taste will be maku, right? It's not completely sweet, but it tastes good, I think. Any, any, any other, uh, any other uh, food that tastes maku, Manisaji? That you remember? Maku so? Any, any, any other food? Cashew, peanuts, even peanuts, right? Cashew and most of the nuts, I would say. Uh, even even I think like imami or the Japanese people like uh, uh, certain taste of meat when when it is cooked in a in a in a in a, in a special way, that's what uh, imami is. But that's generally savory, right? Maku. Okay. Now I think we can uh, go for our second round of second round. We have got three rounds of crosswords to go for, and this is the now second round. This was the easiest one, the first one, and I think Sandeep had fun. With the easy, easy round. And then we'll now go to the second round. Yeah. Here it is. So on our screen now is the second round of crossword of Akha Kasa. We've given the name Akha Kasa because Akha is uh, Akshar, is, is uh, letters, right? Kasa is game. Akha Kasa, which is our crossword or uh, type of scrabble here, in our Nepal Vasa class 19 of Passover to UK London, when we are learning adjectives. So we have three words to go for. Okay, the first word is a four letter word. As you can see, number one is followed by four boxes and you already have the third box there. It is a four letter word, is a four letter adjective, let's say, and the clue is across number one. The clue is round shape. Anything which is round in shape in Nepal Basha, the adjective will be four letters long. The third letter is la. We need to find out first, second, and fourth letter. Let's go for uh, let's go for the first letter then, shall we? Shall we go with the first letter? What would be the first letter of this word, which is okay? So round. I think people are now uh, getting used to it. It's classic <laughs> cross. Yeah. One across, and uh, on the right hand side in purple, you can see the options. And then there is a hint uh, in the middle, uh, la. Mm. So let's start guessing and answering what could be the right answer. The options, read the options only, if you can see. Can you see the screen? Like, are you on? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I, I have two screens. I actually have three screens. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Well, what are the options? We have eight options, and the first word could the first letter would be one of the eight options. Okay, wow. we have started receiving comments um, now. I know Maku was the last one from the previous puzzle. Right. right. Uh, so Omar Shaji is going with Cha. Mm -hmm. So Cha is the first option or the first gap that he's filling it with. Mm -hmm. And Susima has actually gone ahead with the whole... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, she's written Cha Ka La Gu. Mm, Takalagu. Oh. Takalagu. And so has uh, Iraji. I think Iraji is from Reading. Thank mm. you for joining today. Amazing stroke, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. And let's, oh, let's oh, get. Oh, is it Hastings? I thought she was in Hastings. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Right. So, shall we go with Cha then? Okay. Yeah, let's go with Cha. Okay. So, without further ado, that would be. Cha for us, and if I go to test this, correct. Cha, cha, first letter, third letter, la. Now we need the second letter. Yeah, is from Hastings. My bad. Yeah, Sandeep, you got minus point for this. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so the second letter, I think Susima gave us some hints, did she? Any, any other, any other player, any other viewers, any, any other friends who is with us? Uh, okay, Hiradi also went for Ko, Susima went for Ko, I haven't heard from Omji, any others will be highly appreciated. So we have majority Ko. Second letter. We got two. We got two votes for Ka. But we're not sure. Is it is it correct? Is it correct? We don't know. So I'm now trying to uh, pick up Ka. Yeah. Shall I? We got two yeah, votes. One, one more. One more response really? from Jatinder Bonakuti. Uh, he has. Uh, she has done. Um, entered. Cha, ka, la, ku. Okay, right. So ka then, second letter. We got three words for ka. I'm going to now drag this ka out of the, you know, uh, the options list, and I'm going to put it here, right here, as the second letter. Then we will now test. Correct. Correct. Works. So now, so far we have ta ko la, right? Now we need the last one, which according to our viewers is gu, gu. right? We got two gu's in the options, so you can wait for another one. Okay, so we will now go for gu then. We got enough votes for ta ko la gu. Ta ko is like, yeah, sorry. Seems like it is round, isn't it? Lagu will be like go lagu. Go lagu is also round. Sako lagu is also round. Lagu is like of the shape of, like in that shape, isn't it? So sako is like like a chakra, maybe from there, because we are fond of getting words from Sanskrit, <laughs> round and you know, sako lagu. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, does it work? I, yeah, I, I mean. I don't even mind testing it now. It definitely works. We've got one correct word complete, which is Sakalagu is round. Okay, we learned one word, round in Nepal. Sakalagu. Now we have another word, the second word, which yeah, which for which the clue is in the down number two. Number two, four-letter word. Again, the third letter is la, and the clue is rectangular shape rectangular anything that is a box shape rectangular four sides four angles four corners like maybe a desk a table a screen a tv screen a mobile screen what would be rectangular third letter okay. is la 
first letter we need okay let's do one letter at a time so we have five options left as you can see on the right hand side we are doing two down so what do you think is the first answer just below two what do you want to fill that box with and actually the options are in the shape of a question mark <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> oh Okay. Okay, so we are getting some answers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's pronounced P or P. 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 Okay, so people are going with P. Really? In the first section of two you, down. You have enough votes, Sandeep? Shall we? Yeah. So one, two, three. Four. Yeah, Viraji has answered twice. It's like a correct spelling. Okay, perfect. Four. Let's go for it then. Uh, I will pick up pay and quickly put it in the first letter, right? In the first letter of the second word, which means rectangular pay, and I'm testing it now. Perfect. It's giving me a giving me a winning tune here drum rolls that's what it is and yeah first letter is pay what could be now the second letter okay so second box we need to fill second box and then third is already filled with la which is the hint is for the hint? Yeah. we are looking for rectangular shape uh, let's go with the second letter Okay. I have had one answer from Hiraji. I think she's. I think she meant to say, "ko," mm -hmm. put in "ku." Mm -hmm. Yeah, "peku" is like yeah for uh, yeah. I think that's what she means. Yeah. So we have we have an option which is "ko," right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Sushima has selected "ko" for the second letter. Let's wait for at least four, uh, three, four more answers because I know we have eleven, thirteen uh, attendees today. Right. What do you think? What do you think? Let me go for any you know enough votes for anything. Pay something la something rectangular shape options wa tha ka gu these are the options wa tha ka gu okay let's get some more answers i only have two now uh, at least two more and then we will play the game after this is gonna get more tougher i believe Okay. Yeah, so Omar Shaji is saying ka as well. Uh, Hiraji, I think she's still trying to say ka, but she's still typing ku. Uh, so that's three. Okay. One, two, three. So that's twenty percent. Right. I think I think we can go with this now. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go ahead with ko. And uh, if I now uh, try and pick up ko from the options, so that second word, second letter, right? So I'm adding it as a second letter of the second word ko and testing it now at the same time. Let's see. Brilliant. Giving me a winning drum roll here. So it is definitely pe ko. Pe, ka, la, and then the last letter, and that will, I think it's easier now, and it, it, it also we also have the first word, which is giving enough hint for the second word, pe, ka, la, and the last letter. Okay, everybody should get the last letter now. <laughs> the options wa, ta, gu. Easy win, easy win.
Yeah. There it is. The first answer from uh, Susima again. Uh, Gu. She's uh, learned from the first word already. And uh, Hiraji has already answered the whole thing uh, all at once. And I think uh, we should go with Gu because I think this is an uh, easy one. Okay, right. Enough votes, uh, enough confidence. So I'm just picking up Gu, adding it here. This is not moving from there now, and I'm testing it quickly. Correct. So we have a winning drum roll. Peko la Gu. Peko la Gu is Peko la Gu is the word for rectangular shape in Nepal Basha. Pe, as you know, when you know when we were uh, learning to count, if you remember, Chagu, Nigu, Swangu, Pegu, Chaka, Nika, Swaka, Peka, Pe was always referring to four. And a rectangular shape is four corners, four sided, right? So Peka, Lagu, right? Shape of four sides is rectangular shape, which is Peka Lao. Okay. I think it worked. Think, now, so this term, uh, I think this should be Peku Lagu. Uh, it has four corners. Right. I don't know. Oh, uh, it, 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 uh, Peku Lagu is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Peku Lagu, Sukun Lagu. Yeah, that's that's why Hiraji is also like uh, going for Peku Lagu. Uh, okay, Hiraji, right? you are right all the way. Mm. Uh, <laughs> And we have the option wrong, so it is Peku Lagu. Right. Okay. We will we will go with Peku Lagu, and we will uh, quickly get um, um, this thingy. So what we'll do is we will make it. Uh, yeah, we will take it as Ku. Okay. Yeah. Peku 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 Lagu. Okay. Right. We'll get it done. We'll get it done definitely. And um, right. Uh, so I think what I can do is I can override the game, you know, like I can quickly, uh, yeah, um, uh, I can actually, uh, quickly do this, um, if I have to, and, uh, I might be able to do this, like simply by typing it above. And while Sangdada is correcting that, uh, Pranishaji, can you read, uh, that, I think that's an explanation from Jagat Sundar Bonaputi. Okay. That means we also say this Pekulagu. Right. Okay. Let's override that. Yeah, it's always we can always uh, get this done and um, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. That's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Cool. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this quickly here. And we will have it as cool. That's fine. And this is now going up as the corrected form, which most of us uh, like to say, right? Which most of us believe should should how should how the game should have behaved, right? Okay. So uh, I'm quickly getting this done, and that shouldn't be an issue. That shouldn't be an issue, and that is here for well, is in the second crossword right okay it's in the second crossword crossword and here we go perfect okay right um and the second one i just need to quickly add this up and then we can move ahead with this okay right uh, Second password. Cool. Right. Done. So now, uh, this is coming here. Okay. You can see this is now being swapped with another one. Cool. And everyone is happy. Peku Lagu. Correct. We we did go through the letters earlier before this uh, before this trial uh, before this uh, kind of. Uh, you know this uh, session today somehow it missed out and very thank uh, very thankful to uh, Pranishaji at least now yeah <laughs> it works right okay now let's go for the third word then let's go with the third word which is bha uh, which is starting with bha 
the first letter it is it, it has got three letters the, the third letter the third word this is the third word of the second session of our crossword akakasa the third word has three letters first letter is ba and the clue is in number three of down right which is ragged ragged which is overused and it is so much used that it has lost its charm what is the word if it is very poorly maintained ragged depreciated whatever you know is gone worse lost its qualities lost its charm and beauty uh, sounds like my face ragged <laughs> okay so we have answers here are you uh, overused or something <laughs> Wa. So wa is getting the vote here. Wa for the second letter, yeah. Okay. For the second letter, so wa, and then yeah, and then we will come to the third letter when we. That 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 will be that will be understood anyway. When when we do the second letter, there will be only one option left. Is nice. Okay, then let's do the third and last word. and if it is correct then it is correct otherwise it will be reversed right okay i'm doing the second letter wa for uh the third word which is ragged and um quickly testing it i get drum rolls because of the right answer from the comments and through sandeep so it is wa so far ha and wa wa okay Now we have the only third letter option which we don't need to wait for and we have tha right tha tha with a with a h there at the end wa tha so we have completed the word and of course the drum rolls it is correct and the word the third word in the second crossword wa tha is something that we use in nepal bhasha for ragged which is overused lost its charm and beauty and qualities watha jula and we that that's what we say watha watha jula like because it is so much overused and it's lost its uh, goodness this watha right piece of cloth piece of things you know okay definitely not sandeep's face <laughs> i disagree with that because he's is as charming as ever sandeep you are not you're not being overused you can't you can there's there's still a lot you need to do in good <laughs> So so yeah that's the end of today's um second session of crossword so takalagu round shape pekal pekulagu that's pekulagu right that's how we correct it pekulau is rectangular shape bwatha is ragged nice now the third and the last session of crossword we will switch to while you while you go to that iraji is teaching us new things today she really? said bwatha actually means old old isn't it yeah too much used and it is is ragged yeah it is old isn't it bata yeah it's very old it's too old and yeah but it doesn't apply to people you know people never get bata because older you get better you get <laughs> nice third one third crossword third akha kasa for us in nepal bhasha class 19 of us with uk london about adjectives the akha kasa has three words these three words are going to be uh, we i need to update i need to quickly update the um you know what i have as uh, clues because uh, i still see the same clues which is not right so there should be new clues and um that that will actually help you isn't it so let me just quickly uh, change the clue i need to update the clue and then we can go forward as um as quickly as we can really okay there we go Let me just update the clues in the game. Only three words. Only three words. We are live now, so it's getting a bit slow when I update things here, but should be fine right now. Okay. Right. Nice. Uh, there you go. I've updated it. It should now. show us the result it should come on facebook 
in four second uh, of delay okay right so the clues for us in this third crossword are can you see it now yeah Do you need to the new clues, by the way. No, you should, you should, you should be able to see the new clues. Okay, yeah, it's updated now. So yeah, now you can see it is a bit more complex than what it was earlier. You put more words, you see. So it is updated to five different words. It's going to be more challenging now, and new words and challenging words. And I hope we are prepared after all the warm up. The first clue is famous meat cuisine. This might be easier to start with. It's a famous, it's a very popular meat cuisine of the Nibar people and it is in black form. Uh, now the one we are talking about here is in the black form, right? Somewhat dark black in color and it's famous meat cuisine. And it's the first word, five letters long. The first letter is HA. The fourth letter is YE. HA, two more letters, YE, and then one more letter. That is a famous, a very popular meat cuisine, which is quite black. That's why you, we are using it here as an example, because we're talking about colors, adjectives, right? And the options are bhu, ma, hia, bha, lain, ku, wa, chu, la, ke, tu. So these are going to confuse you if you go through uh, lots of options at the moment, because these will decrease soon. So. So people were listening to the theory class because as soon as you said black, yeah, they've already answered ku okay. as the first gap. So I think there's a lot of ku. We are happy to go with ku. Nice. Uh, let's try ku for the second part of that word. Okay, second letter is ku and I'm testing it now. I'm just fixing it and testing it. Yes, drum rolls. Haku. All right. Haku for black. But what is the remaining part? Three letters? Yeah. Second Let's le start thinking about the remaining part. Three and letters. Middle, middle, middle is ye. Middle is ye. Three letters. The hint is ye. Uh, so now we have ha and ku, which is black. Uh, what is the one in between? Let's, let's start on, uh, typing comments for the missing part okay so hiraji is saying two so oh, is two clever shall i back to then okay i got it because i know you always told me i i spell that cuisine wrong okay. <laughs> really <laughs> okay right so okay. shall i drag two then two yeah yeah, yeah let's two two one two three i'm not uh, sure i'm not sure if he's right you know <laughs> you're just going with people Let's see if you if you're right. See now, I'm never going to spell that uh, uh, food item incorrectly. Correct. Because we got the drum rolls. We got the drum rolls, Sandeep. It's always good to go with okay. people. It's always good good to go with your members. Let's let's do two. I'm actually hungry now because that is one of my favorites. What is the last letter? <laughs> now easy. Haku Suye. Last letter. All right. Last letter. I think I have one answer from Miraji. What's the last letter? Okay, let's start entering the last letter. Just, That's the easiest part. Just one. Is it? Yeah. Famous meat cuisine in black form. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. So we got two la. Okay. Okay, shall I drag La then? Even yeah, let's put La there. It's quite okay, let me just grab La and put it here. This one is not for you, Anil. I know you have just commented. 
<laughs> but yeah, Haku Tuiela. Haku is for black, as we learned earlier. So you see, we just learned Haku for black. Tuiela, when you le we learned about food earlier, marinated meat. So in black form, that made it more black, dark. Marinated meat would be Haku Tuiela. Haku is the adjective, right? Um, All right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Six. All right. So yeah. So one across the famous black meat cuisine. Uh, meat cuisine in black form is hakutsuela. We will go now with the second word. We're almost about to finish. The second word is three letters long, and the uh, three letters word second word has a clue. The clue uh, is in down number two, which is black lentil. Black lentil in Nepal Bhasha is three letters long. The word is three letters. The middle letter is ye. The middle letter is ye. What is the first letter for black lentil? All right, let's start entering the answers now. This time there is no haku as you can see. <laughs> yeah, but it's David Gellner's dog's name, I what? think. What? No, this is, this is, I said, this is black lentil, not white. <laughs> There's no white. No, no, but I, I was giving the eh, eh, okay. hint, I think. But okay, so answers. They're going, up. going to be so angry with us now. Ma, ma, ma. I'm getting a lot of ma. Really? Yeah, we got one from Monish Dursi's here as well. Maybe from downstairs where Pony says he is. He's he, he, just cooking the same thing. Or next room. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, I'm going to drag Ma now if we go with all our viewers today. The viewers are like mostly correct. Last time when we played Hangman, it was like so tough. This is much easier, is it? Is it too easy? Yeah, because this is food and Hangman was animal and how could you put pork in it? This is not food, <laughs> this is the adjectives. Yeah, but I, I brought most of food items. Yeah, so Ma, Ma is the first letter, is it correct? I've just uh, added it here. Drum rolls, it is correct. Yeah, Ma Ye, Ma. Ma, the last letter should be? All right, let's try our last letter for two down. Waiting for comments. Options: Bu, Ya, Lain, My Bu, My Ya, My Lain, My Wa, My Ba, My Tu, My K. What is it? So. Okay, so um, I got two K already. Manishi and Iraji said K, K E N. K. Shall I then? Shall I drag K? Susima so said K as well. You know, your votes. Yeah, let's do this then. Yeah. people some time ago, now 14. Okay, let's go with Kane then. Okay. I think I think we learned recently, that's why it's getting easier to people. So, Ma Kane. And if I'm testing it, drum rolls. Correct, winning tune, right? So, Ma Kane is the black lentil. And we learned, uh, we, we learned only the Kane part in, in, in the food class earlier. We did Kane, Za for rice, Kane for uh, uh, lentil, right? Pulses, dal. So, ma ke is the black lentil. That's something new we've learned. Um, and we're just learning about black things today. Now, um, uh, okay, let's go for the third word. Almost about to finish now. The third word is, the clue is carrot. It is down, three down. The clue is carrot. Carrot in Nepal Bhasha, we haven't covered this in food. But uh, we are covering it in adjective because you'll see why. Carrot is three letter word in Nepal Bhasha. The middle word is un, mm, which is color, right? Mm. So that gives you a hint. Mm. This All right. Be... Let's yeah. go for three down first section, first box. What are your answers? Okay, so got one answer here. Oh, really? Who's this? <laughs> Who's Who gave you the answer? Yeah. Sorry, that she has joined. Actually, she had one more comment on the top. Maybe, maybe Sonika just gave up. She's just saying, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to play. Yeah, yeah, this is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Hiraji has put Loi on. 
So, we're going for three down, first letter. Okay. Let's pick up then. Let's pick up here, right? Okay. So, we'll go with Sony Gazi here. And I'm adding it here. Nice. Drum roll. So, yow. Yow, as we learned earlier, the color red. Anything reddish is yow. Uh, what could be the third letter then? It is carrot. What is carrot called in Nepal Russia? Yes, it is yow. It's a bit red, orange, reddish. Third letter, anyone? Yow. Is it Hyang Bhu? It is Hyang Ba? It is Hyang Lai? It is Hyang Wa? It is Hyang Tu? What is it? I got one, two, three, four, four line. Oh, really? You got it already. Let's go with it then. Okay. This is getting. This is fun. People are getting winning it again and again. Let's see what happens this time. Yeah? Testing it now. Oh my god. This is again correct. Hyang Lai. Reddish line, we learned it. I think I, I'm not sure whether we covered it or not. Line is the radish in Nepal, Russia. Line, right? Mula uh, in Khaspati Nepali. And if it is reddish kind of mula, if it is reddish kind of uh, radish, reddish radish, or oh, this is twisting my tongue, right? And this is called nyau line, reddish line, nyau, right? Okay, nice. Now we'll go for the second last letter, which is the fourth letter of uh, second last word, which is the fourth word. And the meaning, uh, the clue is parrot. Parrot in Nepal Vasha. Oh, this should be easy. We learned it recently. So remember the color again. Uh, because the second, it is a it is a four letter word for parrot in Nepal Vasha. The second letter is um. Again, um is the color. Um is the Nep Nepal Vasha word for color. So you got the hint. And what color is parrot? According to that, what would be the first letter? Okay, first letter. Let's start counting. Four across. Hint is parrot. What do you call parrot in Nepal Bhasa? Uh, first letter, first box. Uh, I got one answer, two answers, three now. I'm doing like uh, oxen. <laughs> one more, four, five, one, two, three. Three was so wa is the first is section. It, is it bhu or is it bhau? Is well or is it tu? <laughs> uh, okay, so I will just uh, quickly go with what our viewers have said, and I'm just dragging wa here and adding up here as a first letter, and making it wow. Wow, I think we learned this recently. Nice drum rolls. So wow <laughs> is the word for Nepal was a word for color green right what would be the last the last two letters of the word for parrot wow options are who ba and two so one two two answers already who okay let's wait for a few more and then we can insert that option in the third letter box we are all, we have already filled in uh, the fifth <laughs> fifth word. It's already filled up, so it's going to be easy. Yeah. It's almost the last thing we are doing now. Yeah. Wow. Well, third letter will be. Looks like Pranishaji's uh, Mac is ready. It's getting us, <laughs> getting <laughs> getting uh, calls. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm getting three, I have three balls and one boo. So I think I just put boo, but everybody else put ah, oh, and both are in the options. What shall I do? Shall I go with boo? No, but then there's three ball. Okay. Okay, in this, in this situation of Sonika versus the world, I'm going to drag ball and try and test if majority are correct. So now I'm just going to test it. Nice, correct. This will work for me with a drum roll here. Uh, and is wow ba? I think it's getting easier. The last guess for this last letter should be is it bu or tu? Is it wow babu or wow bhatu? Wow babu or wow bhatu? That these are the options now remaining. 
for parrot which is green color wow yeah one two three go ahead yeah one two three so it's one or two. One or two. So okay, I'm dragging this two here and fixing it and testing it now. Nice. Nice. I got a drum roll for this and this is correct. One or two. One is green. Batu is a kind of birds which do not uh, which uh, we discussed this earlier when we were discussing about types of birds. Ka batu and uh, Sangha's Ga, Gonga and all that, right? So Wau Bhatu is the color, green colored Bhatu is the parrot in Nepal Bhasha, Wau Bhatu, right? So now we've got third, uh, we've got the last word, which is three letters long, but we don't need to uh, correct this. We've got only one option left. The last word was gray sparrow, gray colored sparrow. And in Nepal Bhasha, gray sparrow is called, we've got only one option. So I will just drag it here for everyone. Bhu, right? That is the option we have. And I'm going to drag this here and quickly add it and it has to be correct of course right as you can see drum rolls for the last word last letter of the last word of the last crossword <laughs> nice so uh, the gray parrow a gray par a sparrow gray sparrow in Nepal Basha is Buyu Wa because Buyu is the word is the word uh, for gray right we learned it earlier today gray in Nepal Basha is Buyu Buyu Wa is this uh, gray sparrow in Nepal Basha. So you can see if you know the adjectives you are going to learn about so many different uh, new words. Haku, Yao, Huyu, Wao and all that right. Mayake for black lentil, Haku Chuela for uh, black chuela, married to meat, Wao Bhatu for parrot, Yao Lai, red Lai for uh, carrot, Buyu Wa for gray sparrow. So these are the five different words we just learned uh, related to adjectives and colors and things like that in the last crossword. So we are now all uh, done with the crosswords that we had, the three crosswords. And this is now the end of our uh, 19th Nepal Basa class of Pasa Pasa Kutu Yuga London about adjectives playing crosswords. We call it Aka Kasa. This is the second last class out of a set of 20 Nepal Basa classes that we plan to do uh, from last year. We started in April. And we are on the 20th class with lots of interaction, lots of lots of comments, uh, almost 30 hours long video if you put all, all of them together, which is an epic. We have only one last Nepal Basha class remaining, which will be the 20th Nepal Basha class, which will be coming, uh, which will be next Thursday, which will be our last class before we end our uh, executive term of this executive team of Passport to Good London, which will be ending on 2nd of August, right? So hope you have enjoyed, Sandeep. If you'd like to say some good words that you always do. Yeah, I will, and I will do quick because I have to go and watch football. <laughs> <laughs> Man City is playing Liverpool, and I'm a Liverpool fan. All right, so thank you very much. Nineteenth and second last, as our president has already said, everything is twenty this year because it is the twentieth year of Pasapu City to UK. Uh, uh, thank you very much for joining. And we will see you in our Ranjan Ali P class on Sunday. Uh, have a good evening. Have a good night if you're dialing in from Nepal. Yoko Yoko Suba. Sorry, Saji. Quick thank you. Okay. No, nothing from my side. You have to go and have the Mac. Okay, I know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yoko Yoko Suba. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you on Sunday. Okay.